Hey everybody, welcome to Broadway.com's Live at Five. It is Friday, October 5th. Do you know what happened 18 years ago on this day, Andy? That's a legitimate question. Gilmore Girls started oh on the WB. That's what wow. I remember. Wow. Wow. Gilmore Girls musical, man. Where is the Gilbert? <laughs> Come on. Gil Gilbert. Gilbert, Gilbert no, that's Gilmore you. Gilmore Girls musical. I am Ryan Lee Gilbert. I'm Andy Lefkowitz. And we are joined here in the studio by the wonderful Caitlin Moynihan. Hello. Happy Friday, Caitlin. Thank you, you too. And we have amazing guests with us today. Yes. We have Yehezgal Lazarov and Maite Yuzal from the Fiddler on the Roof National Tour joining us yes. in a little bit. We're going to yes. chat with them, but first, let's talk about today's top five. You will be found in London. Ooh, I like that. Thank well you. Done. So we just found out today that the Tony Award winning musical Dear Evan Hansen will arrive in London's West Ooh. End in the fall of 2019. It is everywhere. Oh my no, gosh. It's, it's going everywhere. It's taking over it's the just world. just kicked off its national tour. Yep. Uh, so Dear Evan Hansen will arrive at the Noel Coward Theater in the fall of next year with exact dates and casting to come. That's very nice of Cameron McIntosh yes, to be like, certainly. here's my theater. Yes, <laughs> no kidding. That's amazing. Yeah, so great news for London audiences. And we are super excited because Billy Flynn is coming back again on the road. Ooh. Yes. So right now, the big Broadway Chicago news is, of course, Cuba Gooding Jr. is joining the Broadway production, and Todrick Hall is going to be playing Billy Flynn on the road. He obviously played Billy Flynn on Chicago before. Uh, he will join the touring production on October 16th at Detroit's Fisher Theater. Uh, you may have seen Todrick here on Broadway in Kinky Boots or Memphis or The Color Purple. Uh, also, he's a YouTube star yes. celebrity star. we all oh love Todrick he's amazing uh and now he is playing Billy Flynn on the road or he will be very soon so check him out that's amazing mm -hmm. and the giant gorilla comes to New York starting tonight it's here it's, it's finally here, here. It's finally here. Been, it's I can't believe it we've been hearing about the King Kong musical for years, years. and it yes. finally arrives at the Broadway theater tonight mm -hmm. I'm so pumped about me this. too I can't wait oh my gosh so this show features a book by 2018 Tony winner Jack Thorne, who wrote Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. That's and has right. a score by Eddie Perfect, who is making his Broadway debut, but will also make right. his Broadway debut this season with Beetlejuice, opening yeah. in 2019. What so, a perfect Broadway debut well, he's having. Well here with Sandy. So, uh, yeah, check out Beetlejuice on Broadway. And Christiani Pitts. Oh, and not Beetlejuice, and, and King Kong. Uh, yeah, that's what I was going to say. <laughs> It's so perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Christiani Pitts is amazing. Oh my Hopefully, gosh. you've seen that music video that they've done oh, already. We're very Queen excited. Queen of New York. Yes. And fall yes. preview. Yes, in our fall preview, this is a big show. We are so excited because this screen star is headed to the stage. Yeah, so some really interesting things here. So Joe Mantegna, who you might know from Criminal Minds or Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross or The Sopranos, he will direct a Lenny Bruce bio play off Broadway. Um, it will, it's going to be called I'm Not a Comedian. I'm Lenny Bruce. There's a dot, dot, dot in there. And it's written and starring Ronnie Marmo, who is also from Criminal Minds. He will be playing Lenny Bruce. It will play New York City's Cutting Room beginning on October 23rd. It will open on November 4th. And it tells the story of comic legend Lenny Bruce, who fought for freedom and speech all the way to the Supreme Court. He accidentally died of an overdose in 1966 while waiting on an appeal. This sounds really interesting. Yeah. Lenny Bruce is... Just an icon. An icon, an incredible yeah. Incredible comic icon. Um, this sounds really good. Can't yeah, wait. Totally. And we got a new fresh face live on the site. Yes. So Mallory That's Bechtel, right. speaking of Dear Evan Hansen, who recently joined the company as Zoe Murphy, mm -hmm. we have a fantastic fresh face featuring her. Such an interesting story. She yeah. graduated high school and three weeks later was making her Broadway debut. That's insane. She's 18 years old. Ridiculous. Super talented. So absolutely check this out on the site and go see her and Dear Evan Hansen at the Music Box Theater. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Andy, yeah. thank you so much. You bet it, dude. Happy Friday, Yes, Andy. happy Friday to have you. Shabbat Shalom. Weekend. Oh, yes. 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 Absolutely. And Caitlin, why don't you tell us about our guests, Yehezkel and Maite. Yes, guys, we, like Ryan said, we have Yehezkel and Maite in the studio with us today. They are about to head out on the road starring in the national tour of The Fiddler on the Roof, which was just on Broadway like two years ago, but now... Audiences across the world get to enjoy it. We are so excited. 
Yehezkel, he is an acclaimed Israeli actor and director. And guys, he literally has over 30 screen credits to his name. I looked him up on IMDb, and it was way too much to write down. So go check him out, because there's a lot to know about this dude. And also, Maite, she is a talented Spanish singer and actress, and she's appeared on stage in In the Heights, Uncle Vanya, Death of a Salesman, Les Mis, and more. So they are super talented. We are so excited to have them here. Drop all of your questions in the comments down below. And I think you can follow along on the show at, at Fiddler B-Way. I believe so. You can learn more about the show that way. We are so excited to have them. Please welcome <clears throat> everyone here. Hello, Hello, friends. Hello. How are you? Hi. I'm great. Thank you so much for joining me. I mean, so I just got to see you guys recently. You had your yeah. media day here in New York City where you showed off what you'll be taking on the <laughs> road. Tradition. It's all very <laughs> exciting. This was a this was a big this was a big show on Broadway not too long ago. Mm -hmm. You're working with Bart Scher, who's just one of the mm -hmm. best directors alive right, right. now here on Broadway. Absolutely. How does it feel to be a part of this production? and to be taking it all across the country? Um, to me, it feels like um, I don't even know if I have processed mm -hmm. fully, because yeah, this, is, deal. this yeah. is the reason why I left my country and my family and everything behind. Right. So after seven years, I've been here for seven years, mm -hmm. uh, it has happened, and so I'm it's just like a dream. Yeah. Yeah, I mean both of you have made well, big yeah, moves. It's also a dream for me, of course. Yeah, you've yeah. made big moves in your lives to be here and to be a part of this. How does it right. how does it feel to be on the cusp of this moment of taking this this show across yeah, the no, country? No, it's just amazing actually. It's really flattering. It's like you can't believe that it's really happening to you. I brought right. my family with me. I have mm -hmm. like three girls and my wife are here. They're going to tour with us, so for me it's like so exciting. Yeah. And uh, it's unbelievable that we really got the chance to, to play those roles, these roles, you know, those roles mm -hmm. that are like mm -hmm. extremely amazing yeah. roles to play. And uh, this is what's really exciting about it because, I mean, you can be in a production, a big production. Yeah, it's nice, you mm -hmm. know? Mm -hmm. And uh, But it's th those roles. The meat of the roles. Yeah, yeah those well, roles that you have a lot of, yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's them. a lot of room mm -hmm. to play. And, like, I know growing up, this musical is a, is a really big deal here in this country. And yeah. m my husband is a teacher in middle school, and his school just put on this musical. Mm -hmm. Like, the 6th, 7th, and 8th graders just did this show. Because it's what? a perfect musical. It's a perfect <laughs> it's musical. It's just a perfect musical. It's, it's been written, like, perfectly. The <laughs> music, is. and the, we don't have, really, it gives us nothing to do after. When did you thing. first, when, when did this show come into each of your lives? When do you first remember hearing or seeing Fiddler on the Roof? For and what me, did you think at the time? Yeah, for me, it's like, f since I'm a child, you know? Really? It's yeah. like uh, such a Jewish, uh, Shalom Aleichem, it's like, you know, one of the most amazing writers that mm -hmm. you can dream of. And uh, we have this thing in the culture, you know? We have this Yiddish, and uh, it's not really the Yiddish, it's, the, it's this tragic comedy um, humor that you have. It's the ironic of taking life, because we, we see a lot of miserable things that happens to sure, you know sure, yeah, uh, the Jewish course. people in general and of course the Israeli also so we have this kind of humor that when you watch the film when you're a kid you just like grew up with this kind of mm -hmm. oh yeah mm -hmm. you know like right. Ah, right. all those little things those little gestures that we have to do now as roles we do that in life so it's like very natural coming from the home mm -hmm. and to do that. And now to be representing. And what yeah. about you, Maite? When did this show enter your life? Um, I remember that um, at home, my dad would play the musical right. and he yeah. would do Tevye. <laughs> <laughs> so he yeah. would just You've do been prepared for this for a long time. Man <laughs> show. Yes. Oh, he did everything. A living room show. Yes, yes, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. So. It is better than me. <laughs> um, Oh, good question. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, he gave he gave it he a, gave very it, Spanish a very Spanish term, right? Yes. So you okay. know, no, you cannot he, compare. The <laughs> he couldn't even properly say the words, so. right? Right. Well, what is it? What is it about your characters? What's something that you admire most about Tevya, and that you, you you feel honored to be? What about playing <clears throat> this character excites you the most? Um, I think it has all the range of a character you can ask as an actor. You know, from being so emotionally to being really cold about things. Uh, for being, I think that the most beautiful thing about this character that really touched me is that he cares about everything. Mm -hmm. I mean, you do that as an actor anyway. 
as an actor, you have to care about everything right. anyway. Your empathy level and then suddenly to, yeah. there is a um, and there is a huge character that has been written like that. You know, as a caring person, he cares about his wife, he cares about his children, he cares about the job, he cares about the money. He has a, this dialogue with God. You know, he cares mm -hmm. about. He has those all those little things that um, he walks in between yeah. and it, there's so much in between in that character and it's all about this in between with mm -hmm. this character you know and that this humor that he's entering everywhere he can um, so it's like extremely you know beautiful character to play and um, being coming from a religious family myself and a very traditional family uh, that kept the religious and I, I grew up as a, as a kid that was talking to God like every mm -hmm. five minutes you know uh, if something was wrong with my mother and sure. father, he went to the room and said, "Dear God, like you know, yeah, 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 send and, them, uh, yeah, send them, send them, like you know, <laughs> exactly, no, I know what kill you them mean. all." <laughs> and uh, so that was exactly for me, like you know, this is my experience. And so yeah. then, you know, when you are forty-four to meet God in the, in that way, mm -hmm. it's like perfect. Yeah, absolutely. And what about you with Golda? Yeah, um, uh, Golda also has a huge range. Um, Traditionally, she is perceived um, as this very fierce, uh, matron-like um, character. Absolutely. So, keeping that, I I do think that um, that is maybe a presentational aspect of her. That mm -hmm. is, of course, true. Not meaning that, sure. uh, that it's, no, yeah, it's, it's false. Yeah. But there's so much that underlies. Um, this character, um, which, like uh, Yecheskel said, uh, it's the in-betweens. And what really fascinates me about her, um, it's, it's that she always plows through. Yeah. She's a very pragmatic, very stoic person, and she, she just drives, you know? She drives every, every moment um, to get to where she has to be. And this place is a place of huge love for yeah. her family and yeah. and yeah. for for God. Yeah, I too. know what the, uh, sorry, go on. No, no. I know at the press event when we had a chance to talk, y you were saying that one of the big messages going forward with this show is uh, trying to tap into people's ability to accept other. Yes. And to that that love is not, you know, not just supposed to be shared amongst the people we know and have, but we there there's a, a certain degree of love that we should be sharing with everyone that we come across and we all owe a little something to each other. How how do you hope to convey that as you go to city 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 across the country? What kind of message are you hoping to leave that audience with? What kind of emotional mm -hmm. journey mm -hmm. are you hoping to take them through? Mm -hmm. It's, it's, I think it's happened, in general, it's happened like that uh, right now. I mean, uh, as people, you know, we, we, we stopped thinking about only about ourselves. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, it doesn't look like yet. Right. <laughs> right. And I know when I'm saying that, of course, it, I, I mean, it's happening the opposite. Sure. But still, yeah. I think individual, you know, like to be individual with what you, like who you are and, and to circle yourself only with yourself. Mm -hmm. Although we are in a period where selfie is like the... Um, the second, our second name, right. but still, I think that as we are becoming more and more like a group of people, you know, we mm -hmm. are we are coming back to the families, we are coming back to our neighbors, we are coming back about taking care of each other. Exactly. And yeah. I think it's something that the globalization, I don't know how you say, it, but it's like a, it's it's happening all over, you know, mm -hmm. and um, this net that we are, uh, we did the technology. Y yet, but but uh, but it's going to be motionly. Yeah. And I feel that uh, Filler on the Roof has this thing that we are part of it. You know, it's uh, it's not just like a musical, blah blah blah. You know, it's also this this opportunity to to open the heart of the people, not just as actors, as a story. It's yeah. a story that is talking about the family, the importance about the family, about. You know, although it's a patriarchal um, uh, uh, family, you know, mm -hmm. like um, the father and mm -hmm. etc. Right. But uh, hmm. but, <laughs> et cetera. We might have something to say about the mother that. is also very important. <laughs> of course. Um, we figure I mean, it let out. Let them watch. <laughs> they'll see. They'll yeah. see. Right. Um, but but still, it's a family. It is. It's taking care about your family. Yeah. You don't let the kids just growing up 
anymore just like that like it used to be mm -hmm. you know I don't remember my parents knowing what I'm doing till eight o'clock in the evening right yes. right mm -hmm. yeah yes. and today I'm like this on my girls you know and it's like uh, of course it's too much uh, we are we are in this we are on the other <laughs> side the right pendulum now has yeah. <laughs> but slowly slowly <laughs> right but, but this family thing is coming back and it's beautiful it's education it's beautiful that it's coming back that we're taking care of our people the people are next to us and we're just like chasing after success anymore absolutely and this show is a perfect reminder of that while at the exactly. same time jerry bach and sheldon harnick wrote some of just the most amazing songs mm -hmm. in musical theater absolutely. period ever what is it like and to book. be and, 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 and book, book of yeah. course yeah. yeah how does it feel to be singing these songs to, to to just be immersed in this music for you know you're in rehearsals right now but you'll be immersed in them for two and a half hours every night across the, <laughs> how does how does that feel that must feel it must feel like a goal as a performer to be able to be part of something so incredible C certainly yes it, it feels like a goal as a performer uh, well it doesn't f it is a goal yeah yes yeah. but it feels you know what it feels new every night mm -hmm. every at least every day of rehearsal yeah um, because since it is so, so, so well written, like he hinted at before. Um, the material already guarantees excellence. You know, right. there is, yeah. it's, it's like just you, you savor those words, uh, those, those lyrics, that music that speaks to you, and you don't have to, you have to do a lot of work. Sure. But it's 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 coming at you. It's you a nice bedrock. Yeah, no, no, no. But it's coming at you. You you just have to embrace it. You mm -hmm. just have to be very open, your heart very open, and all of your senses to receive that because exactly. it has been done for you and offered as a gift exactly. as as a performer as an actor. Right, right. Yeah. And I know we I know we want to take some questions mm -hmm. from people that are watching, but really quick, let's talk about Bart Share for just a second. Mm -hmm. You, as we mentioned, you're working with one of the most revered and incredible directors mm -hmm. on Broadway across the country. What is something that Bart has taught you, or what is something that he's brought to this experience that's new for you? How does it feel to just be working underneath someone that gets the, this kind of property so beautifully and elevates it? Um, uh, to one of the things that, um, when, when I first walked into the audition room and rehearsal room, he was, uh, well, he, he was some, somebody that I revered. So, mm -hmm. um, to see that how, um, rooted in reality he wants, uh, whatever production, uh, he's doing, uh, to be in this case, Fiddler, how determined he is to uh, step away from any sort of caricature that you might have in mind about what the Jewish people right. are or what what that entails uh, is very uh, refreshing, uh, and I am personally very thankful for it. But at the same time, uh, how he allows you to bring um, because it's hard. We're marketing his, we're we're marketing his production, his direction. So you would think, but no, he. He wants you to make it your own yeah, as well. He, he, yeah. he, he was really insist that I won't watch the, the tape before that. Exactly. You know? Ooh, okay. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and there's one idea that he insists on a lot, which is uh, that this musical really makes you realize uh, what it is to feel uh, to be the other mm -hmm. um, and what it is to consider others the other mm -hmm. um, and I think that that brings the play even more roots the play even more into reality because that Absolutely. is happening in Rwanda and in, in you know in, in many places and right. that's why um, it's even more yeah. uh, necessary that people watch the production. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. What makes a great director is that he's not only about the details. He let the details come through the concept. Mm -hmm. And I think Bart is really one of those people that are talking about the concept of the things. And that's, this is amazing because then it, it says one thing that he trusts. He trusts his actors. Right. Yes. And, and, and for actors, it's like the best present you can get. Um, we had like a Skype, you know, because I was in Israel. Sure, we, yeah. And I, yeah, I yeah. just sent like a tape of... Uh, yeah. If I were a rich man, and that's it. <laughs> and uh, we that's we uh, we had no. I went, you know. That's, that's a huge. That's what yeah. my ambition. Yeah. 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 I just. Uh, oh, oh, I just did it. What are the most iconic? If I were a rich man, right, you know, um, just took an afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> if I were a rich man. Um, but I'm not. <laughs> so I think that's why it took me. Um, it felt <laughs> that Frank, I really... He can... I wish. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but anyway, uh, we had we had a conversation in Skype, and we just had like a, a politic conversation. Mm-hmm. You know, we're mm-hmm. just talking about politic uh, stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, we didn't even talk about the the filler. Sure. I closed the, you know, we closed the Skype uh, call, and we were, I was like, "What? We didn't talk we didn't about, talk about yeah, music. Tell, tell me some. <laughs> tell me some things about the character. Something you know that I will come. No, don't watch the tape. Don't. I don't want anything. Just come fresh as you are, and that's what and we trust. did. And yeah. So for. That's amazing. For it is. Them, so it is. Someone is like, Whew. and is this is this new? Are you typically a I'm bearded man? I'm terribly sorry that or I look like a Viking <laughs> uh, slash hipster. Like I'm gonna say if, you, move, if you were the, staying in Brooklyn, you'd fit right in. I hate the <laughs> most. Oh <my> I'm. Uh, <laughs> Has this um, been fun? Talking Has about King it's, Kong it's, um, <laughs> earlier. Well, it looks great. It looks, looks great. great. You're ready. You're, You're ready. I can't, yeah. I can't watch myself. But when I wear the hat, suddenly. <laughs> there you and go. I, and I do this. Yeah. Yes. All uh, in service to the character. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Caitlin, what would some of our viewers yes. like to know? Sure thing. So both the Alec and Joanne ask if there is a city you are most excited to visit. Mm. You're going to so many cities. You have quite the adventure ahead of you. Yeah. What's what's standing out to you? What are you excited to? I'm waiting for Las Vegas. Las Vegas, <laughs> absolutely. This tradition in Las Vegas, I don't know how the combination is going to be between them. This is really exciting. And all this San Jose, San... Mm-hmm. San Southern California, yeah. Yeah. absolutely. Are we going to celebrate the bat mitzvah of my middle daughter there? <gasps> really? So, yeah, oh, that's so gonna, exciting. We're going to be like partying. Yes. Oh, my goodness. All the cast, of course, yes. is invited. <laughs> That was the official um, invitation, by the way. Yeah, I'm going to make yeah. sure I come so see So we're going to have a huge bat mitzvah in some something. Oh, Fine. that's that's so exciting. I don't remember the list of all the 30. <laughs> There's a lot of sand cities. There's here. a lot of cities, What about yeah. you? Um, I like uh, Milwaukee very much. So oh. you want to go I, colder yeah. Yeah. while he has no, cold. I hate yeah. the cold, but I just love how it sounds. Yeah. Yeah. Milwaukee, <laughs> yes, and rolls off. To, no, yes, and yeah. I have to do it. It's like The two strangers from the farm. <laughs> she never leaves the farm, my character. I want to see the what? lights of Las Vegas. No, listen, and then, because that, I like that for a ridiculous reason, if you will. But then I am very much looking forward to Nashville. Yes. Can you yeah, absolutely. Oh, it's not on your tour, though. <laughs> You're not going there. <laughs> Nashville. Nashville. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. Coolio. Well, we can probably do one more question, and that is, what was the first musical that you guys fell in love with? Mm. Mm. Anything goes. Any- oh. Anything goes. Anything goes, yes. Absolutely. I would me also too. do that with my yeah. dad. Really? He would let me interact in that one. Would play, and then you would just... Like, no, we, we would play the, the Patti LuPone, yep. actually. Yep. And of we would, yeah, so that was playing. He didn't, yep. We didn't play. Well, I played, but not in this, <laughs> at this moment. Um, and we would just do the whole thing, the whole show, oh, uh, Sunday mornings. That's yeah. beautiful. Aww. I was uh, a tap dancer when <gasps> I was eight years old. And uh, I've been tapping all my life, like, you know, till I was 14, I was a teacher. Wow. Wow. So I was like really a tap dancer. So I grew up on Fred Astaire and Gene Kelly, like since I remember myself, my parents wow. every Saturday, yeah. you know, to keep us quiet. They put me like the tape of uh, Fred Astaire and Gene Kelly. So <laughs> to keep you I don't. Quiet. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say, you yeah. know, the quiet art of tapping. Yeah. <laughs> yes. It's Sabbath, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We need to be quiet in Sabbath. So uh, I remember that mostly. I mean, uh, f- of course, um, uh, West Side Story. And yeah. Yeah, so that was beautiful. Those moments for me, it was like amazing. But uh, I think the tap dancing of the of Fred Astaire and Gene Kelly singing in the rain and all this mm-hmm. stuff. That's when it all kind of clicked that, for you. Yeah, when you yeah. say musical, so for me, it's like this tap dancing. Mm-hmm. Amazing. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, theater goers across the country, I can already let you know you're very blessed to have these two and the entire company of Fiddler on the Roof taking yes, the show to you. Company. The entire company and we're blessed is to have incredible. Them. Yes. 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 You're all in for a treat. Make sure you check it out. Look at our site. Look up the, the website for the show. Make sure you get tickets to go see it. Both, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Such a pleasure thank having you. you. Congratulations. Thank you. Good luck in your remaining rehearsal. Thank Good you. luck out on the road. Come back and see us sometime yeah, soon. soon. Let's hope so. And Caitlin, why don't you take us out? 
Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. We are live at 5 every single day on Facebook. You can listen to this in a podcast form by searching for hashtag live at 5 and hitting that subscribe button. Be sure to tune in on Tuesday because we have the holiday off on Monday to listen from John Ellison Conley when we're talking about the new comedy play, The Nap. <laughs>